Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Emo Sebo. Thanks for watching the video. This is just a little talk I want to have with you about Star Wars Celebration. The Celebration, the 40th anniversary started today and it was so hype. The panel that started the convention was a 40th anniversary panel and it was filled with stars. <laughs> Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Billy Dee Williams, Peter Mayhew and Anthony Daniels. It was so cool just watching them hang out and talk Star Wars telling stories from the set, and just how Star Wars affected their lives, how everything changed with this franchise and where they are right now. We have all shared this journey with them and it just made me feel warm and nice when watching this. Side note, Harrison Ford didn't seem as gritty as he usually is in most conventions or shows. He genuinely seemed happy and enjoying himself. George Lucas, he's, he gets a lot of hate, but he is the man that started this. All the people cheered his name when he came on just just cheering his name and he was just really really welcome there they loved the guy and he was just awesome there he knows how to talk to the fans how to talk star wars he's a piece of best ian mcdermott and hayden christensen the emperor and vader they came next and i expected the crowd to react the way they reacted with ian but i didn't expect that much love towards hayden when he was introduced people cheered a lot and he got a standing ovation but hey at the end of the day, we are celebrating Star Wars, right? So it's just love there. The environment just looks filled with excitement and love. It was so funny that Ian just gets down on stage and super fast, he, he talks about the, the opera scene, the meme of Darth Plagueis. It was, it was so cool that they just embraced the memes. Hayden seemed really happy to be there, and Ian, Ian is just great, they're both great. Ian had his own panel where he shared the dark side stories or like behind the scenes stuff and how playing Palpatine changed his life and just how cool it was. It was great just watching the Sith talk Star Wars. Then the tears flowed when the Carrie Fisher tribute came on. It was super emotional. Her daughter Billy Lord spoke about her and was dressed in the Princess Leia-like dress. It was so nice to see that video, it was a montage, everything from the original trilogy and other parts like interviews that Carrie Fisher had and just, it was a great homage to her, it was so awesome. Sweet, really, really emotional. John Williams was the biggest surprise, when he came out with the orchestra, people just lost their minds, they cheered and just screamed a lot. He looked badass when he just waved his hand or did like a little movement and the audience just shut up. I mean, it was so cool. He played several hits like the original theme song and the Imperial March as well as others. Awesome music. Honestly, I thought it did last a little bit too long. He was there just playing music for a bit too much. Some people were dazing off. I know some friends of mine just uh, wandered off and went to their phones because it was a little bit too long for some people. I enjoyed it, but some people think it's too long. But having him there was amazing. I didn't expect him and made the surprise so cool. He still is the GOAT, the secret sauce, in George Lucas' words, the secret sauce of Star Wars. I'm so pumped for the rest of Star Wars Celebration. I want to know what Day 2 brings us. I hope it's the last Jedi trailer. I want to see that already. It's going to be so cool if that's it. Or maybe an Obi-Wan movie announcement. Oh man, so much goodness. So much goodness. I'm Emo Sebo. Thank you for watching the video. Of course, if you enjoyed it, please click the like button. Share with some friends. Comment. What you liked about Celebration Day 1, comment what you want to see on the other days, and of course, I'll see you on the next one.